Hi everyone, so I wanted to do this video today um, just to tell you about my journey with Audacious Church. So when I first went to Audacious Church was in August and it was August the 27th. Um, my reason for joining Audacious Church was I just moved to Manchester um, and it's been about seven years that I've lived here now. When I first came to Manchester I, um, I was in town and a lady gave me this leaflet that said Audacious Church on and I had a look and I didn't think anything of it. I just got the leaflet, looked at it and popped it in a drawer and it was there for about five years and I I found the leaflet and I had a look at it and I, I had googled to see all about what this audacious church was and I'd seen good reviews online, I'd seen bad reviews online um, and I didn't really know what to make of it so what I did was I met someone in my work and I said to them come with me to Audacious Church I really want to know what this place is like and all my life I'd believed in God uh, but I didn't know what this God was and I was feeling really lost and yeah, I lost my friend Christmas Day, as many of you probably know, and I was suffering really bad depression, and yeah, I've been through quite a few things in my lifetime, but yeah, I'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I looked at Audacious Church, and I'd seen how amazing it looked with the band, the modern building, read people's um, testimonies, watched various videos on YouTube. Um, so what I did, uh, I like researched it a little bit, watched a few of their videos and loved the music. So basically, uh, me and my friend went to the church, walked in really, really nervously and we sat right at the back. Um, and I was looking around thinking why are all these people like got their arms up like they're praying like this and I just didn't understand it and yeah I just didn't understand it and he never came back again so I decided to go alone I went on my own usually I'd have never ever put my sister myself into a situation where I'd go somewhere alone and yeah basically I went alone I walked I remember walking in and I walked straight to the front and I sat right in the middle I was like four rows back and the band was praising worshiping I was loving the music like clapping away like everyone does and I remember Sophia Barrett, she was doing a healing prayer, I think. I think it was some sort of healing prayer. I can't actually remember what, what she was praying about, but I remember she was doing some sort of prayer. And I remember looking up to the screen. There was like a screen on the right hand side. And I remember looking up at that screen and there was like that where a projector shines and then you see the dust through the light, I remember that and I'm looking around like this like thinking I just don't get it, I really want to know who God is, um, I just want to know who this God everyone is praising is. So I looked up and I just stood there and I kept thinking in my head, please God, just show me who you are, and nothing, um, 
and I just continued looking around and this prayer seemed to be going on for quite some time and I just stood there, I closed my eyes and I just begged to God and said please God just show me who you are, I need to know this is my last chance to know who you are um, I give up my life, I give you everything everything that is me I give to you and all I remember is this feeling I got that went from my head to my heart and it's something that I struggle to explain to anyone unless you're unless you've had the same kind of experience you won't understand until your time comes but I know God was there, I could feel it had gone from my head to my soul, my heart, everything and from that minute everything changed, completely changed. My whole life changed. Um, so yeah, I continued to go to church and I remember, I remember I'd put my hand up for prayer and somebody called Paul came over to me from the connections and I like, because I was nervous, I knew this would happen, come on get down here, my cat's deciding to come on camera now, um, I was really nervous, come on get down, I was really nervous and this guy called Paul came over and I remember like saying oh I need to rush off I didn't know what he was gonna like say to me and things like that didn't know what to expect so I rushed off um, which I feel a bit embarrassed about but since then I've been going to church um, reading the Bible I've attend I attended like a coffee night where I got to meet different people from church. I went to a baptism class where we all sat and there was a few of us and we told like our story of how we got to church and past experiences and yeah, that were amazing. Um, and then I got baptized in November the 27th and this is one of the dates that I'll never ever forget um, and I've always always all my life had a fear of water um, but that day I knew get down this cat won't leave me alone look how gorgeous he is <laughs> yeah I knew God was with me that day so all my fear was gone um, all the people that I've met on my uh, baptism course I became to love and make friendships and hear their stories and I knew then that I wasn't alone everyone else on that journey with me had all experienced similar things come on look at this baby he keeps trying to get on camera <laughs> look at him, he's really cute yeah so I got baptised and then I was really proud because my dad came along and I stood on that stage and I faced the church I looked at everyone and I knew, I just felt in my heart like I give my all to God, everything everything that's in me he now owns which he's always owned I'm God's child and that day I just feel like God saved my life come on get down this silly cat he keeps wanting to be on camera <laughs> I'm really sorry um, yeah God saved my life and that made me make a decision to become an audacious church partner because I feel that 
I need people, not need, but I want people to come to Audacious Church and grow and experience the same, not the same, but similar to what I experienced. Um, I've gone from being lost to knowing who I am and the piece of me that was missing all my life has finally, I found that and yeah, um, it makes me emotional to, talking about it because for years and years through like abuse and things like that in my past, like in my previous past life, because that's how I describe it now, the old is gone and the person you see now is me. It's a new life for me and yeah, I've just forgiven everything that's ever happened to me. Like, anyone that's abused me or put me down or made fun of me, called me names, it doesn't matter to me anymore. All that is gone. Um, but yeah, Audacious Church can change your life. Maybe not everyone's, but some people. And I decided to record this video to hopefully, if I can just change one person, that, is, that just means I've achieved something. As it says in the Bible, one person at a time. Um, but yeah, all my life I felt trapped like a box, a big glass box, and I'm stuck inside, and I needed something or someone that could break that box, um, and God broke that box. But yeah, I now host in church. I'm on welcome team and I've been on the A teams, which it's helping homeless. But for me, I love hosting because welcoming people in church, getting them to the seat, you're taking them to a seat which can change their life. And yeah. It's great to be a part of something like that. Um, and yeah, I'm going on the Belonging Getaway, which I'm looking forward to. The reason I'm going on that is to meet great people and make lots of memories. And yeah, I've never ever thought my life would change like that. Literally, from a click of my fingers, Everything changed. The music I listened to, um, the people I'm around. I now read books and read the Bible. Um, I love anything to do with earth. I love nature, art, photography, music. Whereas before, none of these things really interested me. Um, but now, yeah they mean everything to me. God loves everyone on this earth, no matter who you are, how you look, how you talk, um, what colour you are, what religion you are. Um, yeah, you can be anyone. I always thought that only certain people had like a gift to connect to God, but I was totally wrong, um, it can be anyone, and I always never felt good enough, but now I'm 101% complete, and the 1% is because I used to say previously, like I used to post pictures and things like that on my Facebook, Instagram, just for people to write a nice comment on. Um, that wasn't the real me and I used to always put I feel 100% happy which was a lie so now my life is 101% complete and I just thank God for what he's done um, it's changed my life Audacious Church if it wasn't for them 
as well. They've been a part of this journey. I couldn't forgive them. Forgive. I couldn't uh, thank them more. I owe like everything I've got, my heart, my soul, to God and to Audacious Church. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking about joining a church, please think about joining our church. Um, it's very, I wouldn't say it's very loud, it's very happy, it's a happy place. We love to praise, worship, um, have coffees, cakes, and yeah, have like talent shows, Christmas pantomimes, everything like that. Um, yeah, it's amazing and you would love it. So yeah, why not give Audacious Church a try? Um, sorry for my little cat interrupting my video. They love me lots and lots, so that's why they always come around me. But thanks for watching my video and hearing my story. And I look forward to hearing yours. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. God bless.